I've been buying Hermes for over 11 years now and every couple of years I would hear an urban myth of an Hermes product that people claimed if you bought you were guaranteed to be offered a Birkin or a Kelly bag. So today I figured we could discuss some of these pieces with magical powers that are supposedly the easiest way to get your hands on your dream bag. And I also wanted to share with you my thoughts on whether such pieces exist, if there is anything you can buy that will guarantee that you get a Birkin or a Kelly sooner rather than later. So if you'd like to hear my thoughts, which I hope will save you not only a ton of money, but also quite a bit of disappointment, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet, and keep on watching. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at some more attainable pieces, not things that cost tens and tens of thousands of dollars, because we all know that if you are clearing shelves every single season, if you're furnishing your home with Hermes, you will be taken seriously. I mean, Hermes is a business just like any other business and they have to keep their best clients happy. But that doesn't mean that it's all about spending. And this is coming from someone who has bought pieces of furniture from Hermes. You can buy whatever you want. There isn't anything out there that will guarantee that you get your dream bag offered on the spot if they don't have what you're looking for. Hermes isn't like other brands, they don't have a lot of pieces in excess, they cannot transfer things in and out of stock. So don't think that it's all about spending, that you have to go out of your way to buy things that you don't really want and that you have to outspend yourself and others in your store because that will not guarantee that you get what you want either. So just keep that in mind, there's genuinely nothing you can buy that will guarantee that you get your hands on your dream bag not even these pieces that we're going to be discussing. Some of these are worth the money, some of these are beautiful, iconic heritage pieces, but that doesn't mean that you should be getting them because you want to get a bag. You should buy them because you love the way they look. And most importantly, you have a genuine appreciation for what they will do for you and for your collection. So without further ado, let's jump into talking about these popular pieces that over the years people have said you need to have on your profile to be considered a serious RMS client. And the first one is a true icon, a piece that I genuinely think is worth the money, but doesn't mean that it will get you back sooner rather than later. I'm not really sure, but the first piece that I wanted to discuss with you is the Hermes riding boots, which of course is one of the most iconic Hermes pieces. This is something that pays tribute to the brand's equestrian heritage. It's inspired by jumping boots. In fact, they are called the jumping boots. I don't know why, but I always call them the riding boots, but the official name is the Hermes jumping boots, which I cannot argue with that. These are an amazing staple to have in your collection, as long as you can find a size that fits you, because when they first did these, a lot of people not complain, but a lot of people struggle to find a size that fit them because the upper part of these shoes was quite wide. But since then, I believe RMS has introduced a slightly shorter version with a narrower upper part. So if you looked at these years ago and you couldn't find a size that fit you, maybe try them again. And I think the new version is called the jumping boots short or the shorter jumping boots. So if you're more petite and you couldn't find a size that didn't overwhelm you, try these again because these are genuinely an amazing staple to have in your collection that you can pull out any full winter. They go with anything and everything. You can dress these up or dress these down. They look just as incredible with a more formal dress or a skirt as they do with a pair of jeans or pants. So you can find these in a ton of different colors and finishes at this point. The original jumping boots were made of box calf and Hermes also played around with exotic skins, but there really weren't too many colors that these were available in when they first launched. But now you can pick these up in, as I mentioned, a ton of different textures and finishes. You can find them in a mix of leather and canvas. They most recently introduced them in a perforated finish. So there's no limit to what you can do with these pieces. These are truly a great staple to have in your collection. Should you buy these because you want to get a Birkin or Kelly? Absolutely not. I mean, these boots are almost $3,000 at this point. So if you're only buying them because you want to get a bag, spend your money on something else. But if you have an appreciation for Hermes's heritage, their 
aesthetic and you're also hoping to build your understanding of the brand. These are certainly a piece that you cannot go wrong with. And at this point, who's not familiar with the Avalon range from Hermes? You cannot buy a single issue of Architectural Digest or watch a home tour of a luxury property without spotting at least a couple of Avalon pieces from Hermes. But I remember when I first started buying Hermes, these pieces were not nearly as widely known and as popular as they are today. I mean, I think there were a couple of different sizes of the Avalon blanket. You could either buy it in a large size or a regular size. You could choose from a handful of different colors, but most people did buy these in either orange or camo. And then there were two different sizes of pillows. Maybe there was only one size when I first started shopping and then a couple of years in, they introduced their smaller sizes for pillows. But anyway, these pieces were not nearly as popular back then as they are today. And people did say at one point that the easiest way to get your hands on your dream bag was to buy an Avalon collection for your home, which at this point I really would not do. I feel like these pieces have become extremely overdone. It's like if you're into luxury fashion, if you have an appreciation for luxury interior, you're kind of expected to own these pieces, which I just really don't think is the most creative and the most original. I feel like when it comes to interior design, you want your home to feel like an extension of yourself. And if you're buying these things because you have a genuine appreciation for the way they look, by all means go for them. But I do think there is so much more that you can do with your money. I think these pieces are extremely overpriced for the quality, not to mention that they are not the softest, coziest pieces. And it's not like they will add that much to your home. They basically just feel like an oversized billboard for Hermes. They don't come in the most innovative colors. They are not available in the nicest textures. So for me, these pieces are kind of, they should be left in the past. And it doesn't mean that that goes for all Hermes pillows because Hermes's home range is really quite big. I have talked about the Yak and Die collection, which I still think is an incredible piece to invest in and explore. You can buy things from their Breed of Color range. So Hermes has a lot to offer other than the Avalon range. But when it comes to this particular collection, I don't think it's something that you should be spending your hard earned money. And speaking of buying things for your home, there are two more pieces that I remember people raving about years ago and saying that if you want to be taken seriously, these are things that you need to have in your home, which don't get me wrong, if you want to build a long-term relationship with Hermes, if you would like to become a serious client, you should really explore as much of the brand as you want to, but you shouldn't buy home pieces because you feel like you need to. Hermes's home pieces are beautifully crafted and I do have some beautiful pieces myself that I really appreciate and I really enjoy having in my collection, but they're really not things that you cannot go without. So if you're not into interior design, if these are not things that bring you joy, please spend your money elsewhere. But the two pieces that came to mind when I was thinking of this video that I remember people talking about are the Ex Libris Twilly box, which I'm not sure if they still make that piece. It was around a couple of years ago, and it was this hand carved mahogany box that had the RMS Ex Libris emblem on top, which you could certainly use to store all your twillies or have on your coffee table, or maybe even in your entryway to hide all the bits and pieces that you needed easy access to. You always wanted to know where they were, but you didn't want them to just make a mess laying around and you know that I do love my RMS containers and my RMS boxes, but I just never really felt that this was the most refined design. I mean, if you have the need for a container like this, this isn't the worst thing for you to buy, but I never felt that this would add that much to your home. I didn't particularly love the color that it came in, which I mean, it was just a natural mahogany color and that Ex Libris emblem, as beautiful as it is, I personally prefer Hermes containers that feature some sort of a leather detail. And speaking of leather, the other piece that people went crazy for, and it's something that I do on myself, is Hermes paperweights. Their two most iconic paperweights are the Lao paperweights, which are a little elephant that they do in a handful of different colors, which 
are extremely adorable. And then the other one is their horse head paperweight, which not only comes in a ton of different materials, so you can buy it made of mahogany wood. They do these in glass, in different ceramics, and they have also been doing them in leather. Now the whole thing isn't made of leather. I do believe that there is a wooden base to them, but the outside of the piece is hand wrapped in leather. But those do keep in mind are going to be a lot more expensive than the wooden versions because I think the leather ones are like five or $6,000 depending on which letter you opt for, which I have to say that these are things that I do really like. I think if you're looking to start your MS home collection, these are great pieces to have. These are things that you can genuinely use as paperweight, as long as you still use paper, which I don't think is a lot of us, but if you still do, these are great pieces to have on your desk. You can also put these on a coffee table. You can put them on a bookshelf and they are not the worst things that money can buy. I am just trying to think where I would start my RMS home collection if I had to start from the beginning. I mean, I do love and use my RMS tableware and people at one point did say that the best way to be taken seriously at RMS was to buy tableware but I don't really think that's the case anymore. Not to mention that buying tableware isn't as easy as it used to be because it has become so hard to find an entire collection. And actually back in the day, you had to buy the entire Hermes tableware set. Not when I bought my collection because I did buy my collection piece by piece, but there was a point in time when you could only buy the entire set as a whole. You couldn't pick and choose how many pieces you wanted, which shapes you wanted to go for, which is what I did and you still have to do when it comes to buying Hermes tableware. Most pieces you either have to buy as a set of two or you have to buy piece by piece. But if you are looking for pieces that you can genuinely use on a daily basis, buying Hermes cups, mugs, plates is something that I personally really enjoy. And I do think that they elevate your overall experience of eating at home. And they are just a really nice touch to add to your home. But I actually really like their paperweights too. These are things that you can put on your coffee table. You can use them as decoration on a bookshelf or on any sort of table or a desk that you have in your home. So paperweights are actually not the worst idea, but please only buy them if you actually like the way they look. I can't believe it's been a few years, but I do think it's been three or four years now that Hermes introduced their beauty line. And shortly after they did lipsticks and nail polish, they did introduce, well, at the beginning, it was supposed to be a limited edition highlighter that they then brought back and now it's part of the permanent collection. But when that highlighter first launched, people went crazy for it. And I did hear people say that if you bought that highlighter, you were also guaranteed to be offered a bag, which is just one of the most ridiculous things that I have ever heard because this highlighter, I think, was around for a little while. I think it cost like $95 or something along those lines. And it was nothing more than this really simple, slightly metallic pearlized gold highlighter with again the ex libris emblem now you have heard my thoughts on the hermes beauty line i have played around with several different pieces i did buy two of their lip balms i did buy the original lip balm and then their rosy lip enhancer which is something that i still adore and use on a daily basis i did buy their tinted sunscreen or their tinted balm which I could not hate anymore. I felt it was extremely chalky. It was over scented and I did not get on well with it. I mean, do keep in mind that I'm not a makeup wearer. So my review is probably not the most accurate, but it's not something that I enjoyed using. I did also buy their mattifying powder for filming, which similar to the bomb, I felt was really chalky. It left a white cast on my skin, which has never happened to me before just because I'm so pale to begin with, but it wasn't the most refined formula. And these pieces are supposed to be refillable, yet the packaging feels really flimsy, really light, and just not the most weighty and well put together. But I have to say that I do like the way they look. Overall, to me, this entire beauty range has just been a little bit too underwhelming for the price. And while I'm sure that this highlighter does what it's supposed to, I'm sure it will add some nice sheen to your cheekbones. I'm not really sure if that's the best piece to spend your money on. I mean, if you love beauty and if you are looking for a beautiful treat, 
it is a nice piece to pick up if you love Hermes, if you love their Exlibris, it's a great piece to have in your collection, but to say that this will guarantee a back offer, I'm not exactly sure if this particular $95 highlighter will do the trick for you. And going from something that costs $95 to some things that are closer to 9500 pieces that a ton of people have, and I am convinced that 99% of people who bought this bought it because they hoped they would be offered a bag on the spot, which are going to be the Hermes bag amulets. So this is a range of fine jewelry that includes pendants and charms, all of which were inspired by the holy trinity of Hermes bags, so the Birkin, the Kelly, and the Constance, and as you would expect, they're basically a miniature fine jewelry version of some of our favorite bags that come in a pendant and a charm form. These are pieces that have been around for years and years and years. They were available both in silver and gold, and a few years ago they went through a slight tweak. So the gold versions they reintroduced with a slightly thicker chain and they also increased the sizes of the diamonds which meant that they could also increase the price tag on these pieces. And I personally don't think that these are the most elevated, most original designs. I mean why would you want to have the miniature version of a bag around your neck. I just really don't think that it is the most sophisticated design out there. And anytime I see someone wearing it, I just want to ask them what bag they were hoping to be offered because I really don't think there are many people out there who would buy these just because of the look. I mean, just because something looks great as a bag doesn't mean that it will look great as a pendant or as a necklace. So at this point, they do them in a Kelly, a Birkin, and a Constance in a ton of different shades of gold. You can buy these with and without diamonds. Actually, you cannot buy these without diamonds anymore because even the version that is not Pave has a tiny little diamond charm. But basically, you can choose from a few different shades of gold and you can decide whether you want it in a Pave finish or if you want it in plain solid gold with just a single diamond charm. Now, you know my thoughts on Hermes Fine Jewelry. I think it is one of the most incredible range to explore from Hermes. I recently did a video sharing some of my most worn and most loved pieces, which is a video I will make sure to have linked down below for you, mainly as a source of inspiration, just to show you that Hermes has a lot more to offer, designs that are exquisitely crafted and that will actually elevate whatever you style them with, rather than pieces that look like something that you got from Claire's for a four year old, or just kind of like, a cry for bag and I'm not saying that every single person out there who owns these pieces bought them purely because they wanted a bag but I am kind of convinced that 99% did and if you own this piece and it got you a bag please let us know in the comment section or if you own it and you bought it because you love the design please do share in the comment section but personally I think you can do so much better for these kind of prices. You can buy things that are truly head turning pieces, things that as I mentioned will look like a sophisticated design rather than something that you got from Claire. Well, my friends, these are all the pieces that I wanted to discuss with you today. I really hope I wasn't too harsh but I have to be honest with you because it is a lot of money to spend and potentially waste if you're only buying these things thinking that they will get you a bag. The most important thing when it comes to buying Hermes is that you buy things that you genuinely love. You're not just buying things for the sake of shopping and that you explore as much of the brand as you want to and you buy things that you are genuinely interested in. That is the best way to go because if you buy things just to be offered a bag, you know, you can get away with that for a little while, but eventually you will start resenting the brand. So I hope you enjoyed my thoughts. I cannot wait to hear what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section if there are any other pieces that you've been told will guarantee a back offer. I would love to hear from you. And if you'd like me to do a part two on those pieces, you know where to find me. And while you're down there, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. I really appreciate you being here and watching. And I will see you back here with a new video. I think actually on Tuesday, I miss an upload on Thursday. So I will do my best to make up for it with a new video on Tuesday. So hopefully I'll see you back here then.